Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how I play Before You Accuse Me by Eric Clapton on electric guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E and we'll start with the opening riff to the song that sounds something like this. In order to play that riff, we're going to start with the open B string. Open, three, high E, open, three, open, back to the B string fret three, open high E, three on the high E, open, open B, and then we'll go to the G string fret two and pull off to fret one. And then we'll land on fret two on the D string. So again, that's and then we'll strike simultaneously the open high E and B string like that. So it's Then we'll go to the open A string and play open 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Then the open D string, open 1-2. So once again, the entire thing is... Now let's see what we need to do in order to play the verses. In order to play the verses, we'll do some five, six chords. This is a fifth, and this is a sixth. This is E5, holding down the A string at fret two. And we're playing both strings, and then when we move with the ring finger to fret four, on the A string, we get E sixth. So we're going to play them this way. We'll need to play an A five this way. I'm holding down the D string at fret two, playing that A string along with it, and then move to fret four on the D string. So we've got this. Here's how we'll play our turnaround starting with E5 going to E6. Then we'll go to fret 2 on the A string with the middle finger and we'll form a B7 chord. So we need to go to that note just like that. We're going to form our B7 chord by holding down the A string fret 2 the D string fret 1, the G string 
fret 2 and the high E string fret 2. And that's our B7. We'll strum that B7 chord five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I prefer up strums on that one. Then we'll play this riff. In order to play that riff, we're going to go to the D string. Open. One. Two. The open G string. The second fret on the D string. G string. Back to the second fret. D string. And then we'll go to the third fret on the low E string. Play it. And bend it and then play it open. So that's After that, we'll play this riff. In order to play that riff, we're going to place a finger on the B string fret 2 and the G string fret 3 and slide it up by one fret like this. Again. And then we'll start here at fret 4, hit it and slide down to fret 2 and then open, then the D string, fret 2, and then we'll go back to the G string and hammer on, open to 1, and then we'll hit the high E string, then we'll go to the A string and play open, 1, 2, and we want to have that middle finger on that second fret so we can follow with a B7 chord like this. And that was up, down. Here's the entire progression. Alright, so let's learn a couple of riffs that are in there. The first one will go something like this. For that riff, we're going to start at fret 3 on the high E string, and we're going to play 3, open, the open B string, and then we'll start at fret 3 on the B string and slide up to fret 5. We'll go back to fret 3, open, fret 2 on the G string. We'll go to the open G string and do this, like that. And then we'll hit the high E string. Fret 2 on the G string, back to the open B. Then we'll go to the G string, hammer on like this and then hit the high E string. 
So now when you play this part, like that with that index finger, if you strike the open strings, it's going to sound cool, like that. So let's go ahead and put those in there. And then we hit that high E string. Here's one more riff. For this one, we'll go to the high E string, fret 3, strike it, and bend it up three times. Then hit it open. Then we'll go to the G string, play, and hammer on to fret 1. That's open to one. And then we'll hit the high E string. Then we'll go to the open B string. Fret two on the G string. Back to the open B. Then we'll go to the G string. Hammer on like this. And then hit the high E string. So that's... Well, all right, my friends, that's the way I play the main parts to Before You Accuse Me by Eric Clapton on electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.